My mom and I, we flew down from Pennsylvania to go on the behind the scenes tour. Instantly, I was just awestruck. We were walking down the hallway and it's, check out these recording studios. And while you're walking down this hallway, you're about to go enter and sit down into a sound stage. Imagine like every school we all went to because we all came from different backgrounds. When we were in those high schools, didn't you feel like kind of the odd person out because you were more the creative? Even though like we're all scared to meet people, it seems like you really fit in and you become more of a family. The very first person I met at orientation, that was the very first friend I had like wholesale wise. And then we found out that we lived in the same apartment complex. Every time I came back from class, I knew that I had someone to like hang out with. So it was really cool. They fit so much into this campus and you are able to associate with different people from different majors and you're able to learn so much. These kids really, really wanted to be here to better what they have, whether they're film, whether they're music, whether they're digital arts and design. They really wanted to be here to better their craft. The instructors also helped a lot because they treated us as like professionals in the industry already. They didn't feel like instructors. They felt like a personal mentor. There's always somebody here that you can ask and question and learn from. When they handed me my laptop, I had the biggest smile on my face. I had my MacBook, I was going to get Final Cut, I was going to get the Adobe Suite. I was so excited. I don't know if they made um, you do this, but in my orientation, they made us turn the laptop at the same yeah. time. Yeah. And all the computers were like, oh. <laughs> After you graduate, you still have this software, yeah. which I really like because a lot of the times, like I still use my software today. Yeah, only to. I'm able to take freelance gigs. It already steps me up from somebody else who just has a camera. I have a camera and now I have an editing software too. And the very first thing that I feel like Full Sail really encourages is networking. And your very first day of orientation, you're thrown into a networking summit. And it was all the clubs of Full Sail. Yeah. We got to go around to each of the tables and sign up and just get a vibe for what the community life was like. I love the Career Network Summit. It gives me a chance to network with fellow Full Sailors. It can also help you as a way to practice your interviewing mm -hmm. skills. You go there, you talk with real employers. Hall of Famers come out to them and talk to them all the time. Around Full Sail, I feel like the Hall of Famers are our local celebrities. We got Grammys and Oscars in our right. lobby, like it's no big deal. <laughs> I think every Full Sailor has that dream to hold the Sailie and say, I am a Hall of Famer. Just to show to everyone, it's like, I can succeed, I will succeed. Straight up, like, this is not going to be easy, but if you want to get there, there's a way. So, you can do it, it's just... You just have to put in the work. Like the Networking Summit, Orientation Week, it's in the live venue. That's yeah. where it all starts. And then graduation, that's where it all ends. So it's really yeah. sentimental to go back in there. It's all of a sudden I see you in a cap and gown. It's over, but it's not over. You're just starting the next phase of your life. You're just going to take on the world in a different way. Don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs>